Hey guys, I hope you're doing well this morning. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. There's just a few things that is on my heart that I do need to talk about. And um, I'll probably do another video after this one. But, you know, sometimes as believers, we can get very tired of hearing the gospel. <laughs> Believe it or not. People that say that they are of God. Oh, there's always something. See, there's always something. You know, they may get wary of someone constantly putting out something, a new preaching, a new teaching, and everything. Granted, you know, there's a lot of noise that's out there. Um, but this is not the case that I'm talking about. It's just people get wary of hearing the word of God and hearing it put out, hearing it, hearing it, hearing it. But my brothers and sisters, there's a reason why people are hearing it. The world gets tired of hearing it. The unsaved people get tired of, oh, here we go, more preaching, another word from God, another this, another that. That will turn them off. That will get them irritated. They will make comments about that. But there are also people who say that they are of God, that they are weary of hearing the word of God. And they may say something about that. And of course, those who are not saved that are more vocal, they'll say something and they'll complain about hearing about preaching and teaching and, and all of that. But at the same time, let's pay attention to how the message that the world is sending out at a high level, at high volumes, high volumes of whatever type of movies, TV shows, those are being pumped out, pumped out. A new show, a new series, a new movie, just constantly going out. These are messages, guys, that's getting out there. TV series, they may be, they may be exciting. They with the, the thrill and the suspense and and just the romance, whatever it may be, but there's still a message behind it. So the enemy. The powers of darkness are constantly putting out their word and constantly putting out their messages. There's a new party to go to. There's a new thing to do. There's, there's, it, they are speaking loud and clear in their lifestyle choices, in what they believe in. It's just boom, boom, boom in your face. They're speaking their message. They may not be preaching. They may not be opening up a Bible and saying anything. But they are giving a message loud and clear. So why would why would the believer be silent when the powers of darkness, they are whoever their representatives are in this world, they are standing strong and they're they are shouting on the rooftops who they are, what they believe, and they are just being proactive in every way in living the life that they want to live, living that life of sin, proclaiming who they are in sin, a new TV show, a new movie, constantly coming out. Something new is out there. There's this, uh, you can go to the, you can take a cruise, uh, not a cruise, but get on a flight and go to the hedonism, go to the hedonist islands and go live out your wildest sexual lust and dream and come on back to your regular life as a teacher you know that's all out there what I'm telling you is no we can't stop speaking if there's people that's complaining I mean I'm not saying this happened to me I don't know if it is but if you can get tired of say hearing stuff from me or you're getting tired of uh people who have other platforms, people who are preaching and teaching, and you're saying, oh, you're always talking, you're always saying something, you're always uploading something, you're always talking about the Lord, then you need to check yourself. If you get tired of hearing your brother or sister in the Lord talking about the Lord, you need to check yourself. If you, if as a as an unsafe person, it's expected, they're going to reject that type of stuff, you know, until they're in a place to really receive. But when you have believers that say, you're talking about God too much, or you always, how is it that you always have something to say? How is it that you always have something that you're uploading? 
again, I have not heard this towards me, but I imagine that may go on with anybody. There are p people who just get tired of it. But when you as a believer or you say you're a child of God, you're getting tired of somebody uploading or somebody, you know, uploading videos, uploading messages, putting things out there. Why? Why would that bother you? Because you're not doing it? Because you're not doing it, guys? We have to be in a place that just because, let's say, if you have a platform and if you don't upload all the time, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's how the Lord has you. Remember, when God gave his talents, when the Lord gives the, there's a, the uh, parable of the master who gave his servants talents to one he gave five to another he gave three i believe and another he gave one as long as you're being obedient to god then don't wonder well how come this person's doing it because there's some people if they're not they're they're not uploading videos or doing things at the same frequency as another first they'll begin to wonder and look at themselves and think, oh, well, you know, I'm not, why am I not? And then the other things just get mad at the other person and be like, you talking too much. God can't be talking that much. Oh, yes, he is. In this hour, in this time, with the level of wickedness that's going on, we are going to be saying nonstop what the Lord says. We're going to be saying nonstop. Repent, 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 because that's the message. So those individuals that have that mindset, because a lot of times the believers, they normally, everything's normally, normally compartmentalized. You see, people expect to hear about God on Wednesdays at Bible study, and then they expect to hear about God on Sunday, and then that's it. In between that, that's too much. So that heart, that mindset has to change. And if you find yourself being stagnant, or you're just bored with God, then you want to check that out too and find out what's going on within you. But anyway, getting back to what I'm saying, guys, continue speaking the word. Continue doing what God tells you to do. Because a lot of times people will reject you because you're talking about God. They'll complain about, oh, you're always talking about God. Oh, you're always listening to something about God. Oh, you're always doing this. Oh, you're always speaking. Why are the Christians always speaking? But the world is always speaking. The world is pushing out their messages constantly. And that's the reason why the Lord is telling us and, and instructs us to speak. You may not necessarily be on a YouTube channel. You may not be on a Facebook Live. You may not be on Periscope. You may not be on whatever channels and or on the on the rooftops. But even when you're witnessing to someone one on one, that's still you speaking. You living a life that exemplifies Christ. That's living. That's your testimony right there. Because a lot of times a sinner is gonna watch your life. So stay encouraged, guys. Keep speaking what God says to speak. Don't be ashamed. There's no such thing as you're talking about the Lord too much. Because people could sit and binge watch garbage. They can listen to music constantly. They can play hours and hours of video games without... Some of them, they're not even showering. They're barely eating. They don't want to go eat. That's how much they'll sit and watch a video game. They'll binge watch something and do nothing the entire day. The house will be on fire. They're going to sit there and watch that show. <laughs> so stand fast in the liberty where you have been made free. And speak the word of God boldly. And do not be ashamed. Alright guys.